Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog and Partridge. Hi folks. The place of fine and craft ales where we brew, serve and of course drink and brew ale. And today we're testing Woodford's Nelson Revenge. Uh, Mumptons make uh, Woodford's Nelson's Revenge in own brew form. Uh, they've teamed up with the guys at Woodford's and they brew a range of beers from themselves. So it's well worth checking out. And to compare it to, we've shipped in like some Woodford's Nelson's Revenge in bottles all the way from Norfolk. So we tell you what's in it then? Uh, I'm reading off the, off the uh, box here from the bottled condition beer. Yeah, this is bottled condition. Uh, finest Maris Otter Barley, grown and malted in Norfolk and brewed with whole flour hops. Very good beer. The only thing is, shipping it in from Norfolk didn't nearly cost me three quid a bottle. This is where own brewing really comes into its own because this cost me about 50p a pint to make. Cost me note. <laughs> if you ever think about own brewing and you're thinking about having to go, this is probably one of the simplest kits to make. It comes with two tins of mould extract, you dissolve those in boiling water, top up with cold, stir in some yeast, leave to ferment. Once it's fermented, barrel it, wait a few weeks, and then just enjoy it. And those are thinking it's going to be yeasty, it's going to be hard, but it's own brew, it's a bit woo. I can assure you this is the closest thing to the real This is thing not yeasty, this is one of my favourite beers. Uh, we've drunk this before, many beer festivals, cracking beer this. Uh, one of the best ones my brother brews at home. Yeah, definitely a good care. But how comparable is it to the real thing? The real thing is in the bowl, or closest to, because it's come straight from Norfolk. So, well, I've, I've been drinking days. Um, really nice, smooth, creamy, hoppy, just everything you want out of a beer. It's a lovely, lovely beer. So now I'm going to try the uh, bottle condition one straight from Woodford's and see what that's like. Definitely an easy session beer, I would have said. Easy drinking, nice summer's day. Can already the tell, pines. smelling it, it, there is a certain smell of homebrew beer, and it's just smelling a little bit different. I'm biased. I prefer days. So the own brewing for, way is the way forward, apparently. Um, it's a good beer, don't get me wrong. It's a fantastic beer. For me, it's just a little bit too, I don't know, a little bit sharp, maybe, on the back of the tongue. Yours is, the home brew one's more creamy than the, than that one. What do you think? Well, I don't know. Woodford's are supposed to put this straight into a bottle, I presume, from their brewing plant, so... Oh, there will be some differences in water, etc. It is very comparable. It's very similar. Um, the hops in that are probably slightly stronger, and yes, it is not quite so smooth as the own brew because obviously the carbonate in it. Um, so yeah, that again, the way forward is over a bit. Um, Nelson. Yes. Why is it his revenge? I ain't clue. I think it's because somebody took his arm off. That's what wants to revenge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, perhaps if you're all the watching, perhaps you could tell us why it's called Nelson's Revenge. Well, we're not quite sure ourselves. Yeah. Good beer, though. <laughs> and what would you give it out of 10? Of course. Uh, the homebrew, uh, I already know, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I've drank this before. It's a cracking beer. If you're drink, thinking of doing homebrew beer, definitely start with this one. It's a brilliant beer. 10 out of 10? Yeah. Yes, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, obviously, the the bottle of beer is still not Woodford's Nelson Revenge. We do not prefer it to the own brew. It's comparable to the own brew, but mm. I would have said not as good as the own brew. I'll give the bottle of beer probably a 9 out of 10. Well, I'll go with an 8, I'm afraid. Really? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. there's that much difference between the bottle and, and the homebrew kit. There you go. There you have it. Thanks, folks. Well then, until next time, we'll be drawing another, reviewing another own brew ale in Dog and Partridge. It's... Uh, to the roof for now. To the roof.